what is a brassaholic? A brassaholic is somebody who is addicted to this music. And somebody who needs it. And I am a brassaholic because I fall into that category. It's got something to do with the interaction between the guys on stage and everybody at the show. Um, it's, it's just unlike any other band that I've played in. Well, I guess a brassaholic really is all of us. It's a musician that's intoxicated to the love of the music. And that's us. Brassaholic is a new age music lover. You know, a brassaholic could be a person that plays a guitar or be a drummer. It's somebody that really just appreciates the new sound of anything instrumental or maybe just some fun music. It's more than just music to us. It's like a brotherhood of understanding how to work with each other. What makes us different, we understand how to coexist as people. That makes the music work. That makes the show good. You have to understand the person next to you. The person next to you has to understand you. And it comes out through our music, and I think people can understand that. And that's what I think makes us different. What really separates us from any other brass band is that we, we don't limit ourselves to any certain genre. We, we can go there, but there's never going to be a time where we're going to box ourselves in. The audience we appeal to the most are all audiences. I think we can reach out to the young, to the old, to everyone. If we feel like rapping, we're going to rap. If we feel like playing rock, we're going to play rock. We're in the 70s, 80s, 90s. We're going to go there. Nothing's going to limit us. It's people that really know music and appreciate music. We may go way back to something from the 80s. Or we may just jump into a, a little snippet of a jazz piece. We may just slip into something from Coltrane. I can clearly see somebody in the audience can connect with that. They know it. So some type of way they intellectually challenge about what we do and they really appreciate it. Oh man, Jazz Fest was badass. Um, I don't even know how many people were out there, but it, by the time that we started and the time that we finished, we had doubled or tripled the number of people. In it. it was totally amazing. It was really one of those things where halfway through the set, I just kind of looked up and felt like, you know, wow, this is really what I'm doing. You know, this is really who I'm doing it for. It, it was nice. We started out on the big stage, on the active stage, and we didn't have to really work our way up. We just came in with a big bang. Boom! Man, being featured by the Grammys was one of the highlights of my life. Second only to winning the Grammy next year. <laughs> the first album is called I Am a Brassaholic. It's an experience, we're pretty proud of it. It was Irvin Mayfield helped us. So we needed somebody to come in, actually keep us focused, that we believed that we would trust, that understood, don't try to change us, don't try to send us on a different direction. Follow our goal and just help us get there. So together we chose Irvin Mayfield because of some of the things he's achieved within his life. The tricky thing about it was trying to figure out how such a big live show with these epic 15, 30, 45 minute medleys and songs were going to condense uh, to something that was digestible in a three and a half minute pop format. Um, so the, the compromise that we came up with was pretty interesting and I'll be really interested to see what the response is to it. We're pretty proud of it. Every time you're up on the stage, it's a rush that you have the opportunity to do something you like and you need to go all out every time and it's just a wonderful blessing. You never know how long you have it for yourself. You never know how long you're gonna have a good band together because the band is so talented but while we have everybody together now, the rush is being together with this group and it's such a rush.